Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Commit. I am Penge, and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. So here is the lovely people's farm. And last time out, we added we added this massive building here, this giant metal monstrosity, the biggest building we have on the lovely people's farm by quite some margin. And it is the frozen food factory. So currently they are working on cherries. Yep, that little blue bar is totting up. So they're working on cherries and they are working on strawberries. I think they've got quite a few cherries in there still. Yes, yeah, so 605 kilograms of cherries and 325-ish kilograms of strawberries. But obviously that's going down as they freeze them. And one thing I did notice was that, for example, let's look at the strawberries. They take 200 kilograms of strawberries and they freeze them and then it becomes 250 kilograms of frozen strawberries. Now I know it's because we have this 25% production boost to all the production buildings on the farm, but it just seems a bit weird, right? We've got these 200 kilograms of strawberries. Oh, now we've got 250 kilograms of strawberries at the end of it. So they've kind of produced an extra 25% strawberry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of reason that, that it's the ice. The ice weighs the extra 50 kilograms, because otherwise that doesn't really make any sense. They can't just produce strawberry out of nowhere. They can't just add strawberry in from the air. So, um, yeah, I'm going to assume that's the ice. But that's very, very good. I was thinking, how how difficult could it be to, to freeze things in a frozen food factory? Get stuff, say strawberries, put in freezer, it's a frozen strawberry. I don't quite know why it takes so long, but there we go. I'm sure it's a very complicated process to make sure it's all safe and lasts a long while and all that kind of stuff. Now, you may notice just here, there are raspberries. Now, we have no raspberries currently, but that is today's goal. I want to have a raspberry field. Kind of not in, because we won't be able to put the raspberries in, because it's October. And obviously, if we put raspberries in now, they will die, because it's going to come up to winter. But... I want to get the raspberry field kind of outlined at least. I want to get the field down and all the stuff round with it and all the stuff built for it and all that kind of stuff. Now the only thing is, I think, yeah, this is a little, this building is in a slightly annoying place. I want to put raspberry field just here, but it's going to clip the edge of this building, I am fairly certain. And also, we want a road. We want a road to come round here. If we put a field just here, even if one could fit, people can't, this road isn't very good. They're going to have to come along this road, along here, along there, and round this way to get to this corner of the field, which is not going to be ideal, really. So let's let's build a road round the back of the uh, frozen food factory thing for now. Uh, oh, that might be slightly too far. Can we build there? No, okay, no, that works out absolutely fine. That was more luck than judgment, but there we go. Right, so if we drag that to there, and then push that up to just there, that is splendid. Now, can we build down the side there? No, okay. Right, we'll drag that to just there. Make a little path down the side of the frozen food factory. And one final one. There. Okay. Good. So now we can get round this factory. And that's fine. And we can drive vehicles and tractors and whatever else around it. So the raspberry field will have to kind of be along here. Which is fine. I don't mind it so much. It's a shame it can't fit quite right with those. It's a little bit irritating. But um, never mind. I mean, I could. I could just have it not the maximum size. What if I wanted to... If I took that right in the corner. And I said, make it that big... That would be 60 by 75. Do you know what? That's probably fine for a raspberry field. That is probably absolutely fine. If we can just put that road out just to make sure that I'm building it the right size or creating it or zoning it or whatever the terminology is and then put that up like that. So we know that in there is going to be a raspberry field. So not the biggest raspberry field that we could have, but that's still fine. I'm not that bothered. <laughs> That'll do. So if we do that, so it's 60 by 75 yeah so i can't make it any bigger if i drag it that way it doesn't work uh okay yeah that's fine then so it's 75 by 60 let's do that let's zone that as a field yeah there we go <laughs> trees just tumble over in sympathy splendid uh, okay well do you know what let's do the double road thing along here why the heck not like that uh, and that's pretty good. I like that. That looks very, very good. So we'll get that in. But obviously not now because it's coming up to winter. And that would be stupid. That would be a stupid thing to do. Now, the bees. The bees have gone in. It's got too cold for bees, I assume. I don't think October is a good time for bees. So can we very, very quickly get... If I stop selecting a field. Can we very quickly get any colza and any buckwheat out of these fields? The crop quality is not brilliant. Let's give it a go, shall we? Right, they have both been set to harvest. Now, I don't think there's going to be a lot in there, to be honest. I don't think there's going to be very much in there for them to harvest at all. 
that's 10%, that's 27%. We might get a meagre scraping of stuff. But you know what? It's better than nothing. I mean, uh, the goats, is it the goats that eat the colza? I cannot remember now. I don't know. But whatever. Things do eat the colza, so we'll keep that. We'll sell the minimum amount of buckwheat we get from that tiny field with all the crop that's withering and dying. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Now, another thing I want to do, and thank you to the commenting people. Have you got enough chickens? Oh, yeah, okay, the inseminator's on his way. Um, thank you commenting people is the manure now we can normally when I have a thing I uh, an auto trading thing if I want to say auto trade uh, whatever peppers or eggs or whatever I just go yeah sell everything with manure I don't want to sell it all I want to keep a certain amount to put on fields for example this field just here will be a good one so what I can do is as has been pointed out in the comments is sell it when it gets over a certain amount so if I filled those three things up so that would be 8, oh no, I've got to do 8,800 multiplied by 3. I can't do that. Hang on, 9, 18, 27. If you do 9,000 9, multiplied by 3 is 27,000. And then knock off 600 because it's 200 less times 3. So 27,000, 26,400. <laughs> is that right? 26,400. Uh, okay, yeah, so... I think we want to go into here, no, not that one, into here, go to trade, go to manure, if I can find it, there, um, it says 8,800 kilograms, which is very confusing, it hasn't split manure up into lots of different bits, has it? Uh, I don't think so, no, okay, no, it hasn't, we've got more than 8,800, so we want to sell that, and I, I assume it means when it's more than that, I just don't understand these buttons, you see, so I want to sell... When, when it's when it's more okay sell products will when will be over this limit in warehouses okay so if i put 26400 when the manure gets over 26400 we will sell whatever is over that number which means we should always have these three things full because the animals will keep producing manure which is fine and everything over that will sell i think i hope possibly that might be how that works i'm not entirely sure uh, i've got a bet from our neighbor so sunflower seeds uh, that is a stupid bet, because sowing sunflower seeds before the 5th of February uh, to win 4,900 is it, going to fail. So no, I reject your bet, silly neighbour person, because that's just very, very stupid indeed. Uh, right, nothing else going on particularly just there. So nothing to harvest there. They are working on these fields. Ah, that one is ready to do the next bit. They're harvesting it. Oh, they're sort of scraping all the... Um, they're scraping all the crops together with that big rake. That's jolly exciting, as they are with that one. Okay, that's looking good. Now, that's interesting as well. The honey. We'll get to sell our honey soon at some point. That shall be jolly good. Ah, now, what we do need is we need to look at what farm equipment we now need for the raspberry field. Because I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a little look, shall we? Okay, so it's not a combine or a chopper. It's not a cultivator. We've got a fertilizer uh, for fields. Oh, now... Now, have we got a fertilizer? For, we've got an orchard fertilizer, haven't we? No, that's the wrong button. We've got an orchard... Oh, no, that's a sprayer. Uh, oh, no, we've got a manure spreader. Okay, so we don't have an actual sprayer, like a crop sprayer. We've got one for the orchards, but we'll not be allowed to use that on this field with raspberries in it. That's not permitted. Okay, well, the first thing we need to do is actually plant the raspberries in the floor in the first place. So we might need some sort of planting thing for that. Wait for the entire list to populate. Uh, it won't be a header, won't be a mower or a baler. Would it be others? Uh, no, that's the potato digger. Don't need one of those right now. It won't be a plough, a sower or a planter. Okay, so the orchard planter, we've already got one of those. Is it one of those? Yes, there we go. That's it. Because the three people sit on the back of it and have a jolly little ride around the field, of course. That looks like it can plant cabbages, peppers, raspberries, strawberries and tomatoes. Okay, yes, we definitely need one of those and we have obviously the blue Etos tractor to sort of pilot it round. So yeah, we'll have one of those. It's a medium, so we can go into the medium brick garage number three. That is splendid. Yes, now, do we need a sprayer? So what else are we going to need? Uh, we can water it with the thing, I think. I think we can water it with the sprinkler thing that we've already got. I can check. Raspberries, yep. Yeah. Uh, the orchard sprayer, however... Uh, it's used to spray the ground to protect crops from weeds or insects. Now, is that different to a sprayer? What's the difference between that? Oh, the auto sprayer is teeny tiny. The width is 1.67 metres, whereas that thing is 12, 12 metres. <laughs> My goodness, that thing is gigantic. 
So can I? And it and weird enough, size small. I suppose it folds up quite nicely, like some sort of crazy spraying robot. So yes, maybe, maybe I can use that one, the orchard sprayer. But it, in my head, it says orchard sprayer, which isn't right. It, to use on a normal field that isn't an orchard. I'm fairly sure that's not going to work. I'm fairly certain that will fail. But you know what? We don't need that right now. We can order that later. If something happens to the crops, we can sort that out. And trailer-wise, I'm hoping that the box trailer can have raspberries. Yes, box trailer with raspberries. Okay, that is splendid news. Right, so I think we've got everything we need right now. So we're just going to have to wait. It's going to be a case of waiting. Uh, they are ready for harvesting. Okay, let's see if we can sell some of our stuff. So let's have a look at the frozen stuff. We're not going to sell the honey just yet, I don't think. Uh, the buckwheat actually was slightly pointless, wasn't it? <laughs> it's not even worth it. It's not even worth someone driving the van over. Yeah, whatever. Bye-bye. Uh, we're working our way through the apples. The pears, I was waiting for the price to go up. Now, they do obviously fetch quite a nice price, but that's 3.43. At one point, they were 4.426. So they don't have an extra one per pair. So that's an extra 100 grand. So I'm not going to just sell it now for the sake of just selling it. I've got another five months to wait to see if pair prices pick up. So that's fine. <coughs> <coughs> apples. The apples have all been split into different groups. I'm not entirely sure why. I assume it's they've been put into different warehouses because there's so many of them. So we've had to store them somewhere. So they're kind of scattered around the different warehouses. Right, here we go. This is what I wanted to look at. Cherry juice. The price is still rubbish. Apple juice. Why is it that the things I have made, the prices are absolutely terrible? Well, let's look at the honey prices. Okay, that's not so bad. Colza is low. That's low. Oh, eggs are good, are they? Brilliant. I'm glad eggs are going for quite a lot. Right, frozen cherries. Low. <laughs> for goodness sake, all the things I want to sell are rubbish. Frozen strawberries. Right, frozen strawberries are high. Let's sell our 750 kilograms of frozen strawberries for 20 grand. Lovely. That pays for that field being zoned out, I think, which is rather lovely. Um, okay, yeah, let's just sell the liquid manure while we're there. For some reason, I can't do that. I'm not entirely sure why. I can't sell anything all of a sudden. I can't sell anything at all. Uh, okay, well, let's come out of that and hope that's not gone weirdly wrong. Yeah, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Can I sell anything now? If I clicked on, say, Colza? Oh, okay, yes, I can. Okay, that's a bit weird. So everything I want to sell is pretty much bombing in price. It's absolutely slumping. Apple juice might have gone up a bit and then it's come back down again. Cherry juice. Oh, cherry juice might be on the climb. 81 grand for cherry juice if we sold it all. 35 grand for that apple juice. But yeah, we can hold on to those. We've got until uh, March as well. March and April. So the things we want to sell have got quite long shelf life. So we've got a little while to sell those. Uh, yeah, okay, and there, I mean, the frozen stuff lasts for absolutely ages. The frozen stuff lasts for a long, long, long time, obviously, as does the honey, which is splendid. So, yeah, I think then, I think we leave that for a while. I think we leave them for a while and just, just let things tick over. They can keep working on them. They can keep working on all those lovely things. It's good. And then um, when, we'll keep checking the price. We'll just keep checking the prices. An awful lot of things seem to be ready to be harvested. What's that about? Ah, up here, of course. Um... Have we done the work on this? Do we need to do hay baling on this? Yes, we do. Now, are my seasonal staff still here? No, they're not anymore. Right, so the seasonal staff have all left for the uh, for the winter. That's absolutely fine. Let's just do the hay bales with this thing. Splendid. And we've got some things to harvest here. So strawberries, lovely strawberries. Yep, yeah, we'll have you guys doing that. We'll have you guys working on those strawberries like so. Uh, anything else? Strawberries just here. Oh my goodness, we're going to have lots of strawberries to go into the frozen food factory. Okay, all of the workforce are now engaged in doing something. Look, there are none out of 59 people. Zero out of 59 people are remaining to do some work. Most of them are over here at the tomato greenhouses. They are working very hard to get all the tomatoes out, which is very exciting. Um, prove that you're a better farmer. And so buckwheat seeds before 10th of 2022. Now... I may well do that because we're going to put buckwheat over here. So we'll keep that going, Mr. Neighbour. We shall take your bet and win ourselves 5,400 monies. Because that might, might be quite an easy 5,400 monies. Now, tomatoes. We're going to get a lot of these. 
because they've, there's seven greenhouses full and they're not going anywhere else. So yeah, two and a half thousand ish from each greenhouse, pretty much. This place is still churning through apples. It's still working so, so slowly through apples. Yeah, we need to sort of, I wonder if we could make that quicker. Can we have some sort of uh, tech research training thing that makes them process things quicker? I know the production thing makes more of it. It makes more of the um, the thing that you want, so the more apple juice or the more frozen goods or whatever, like a 25% boost to the actual output. I wonder if there's one which increases the speed. I don't think there is. That would be quite a nice thing because we have an awful lot of stuff left. Yeah, tomatoes. Very good. So, yeah, let's gather all our tomatoes, unless they're going to go off, actually. When do tomatoes go off? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow, slow. Normal speed. Normal speed. Just in case they're going to go off. 23rd of the 11th. Okay. And we've got, what, one greenhouse left? Okay. That'll be fine. Yeah. Hurry time on. Just speed things along a bit. Come on. Get into this one. There can't be made tomatoes left in there now. Come on. Do that. Grab all the tomatoes off of there. Tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever you want to call them. Grab all the plants, grab all the tomatoes, put them in the storage, and then we shall sell everything, which should be a nice tidy profit. Tomatoes are, you know, fairly, fairly profitable right now. And there we go, the final 2,574. Again, I like the fact they're counting every single tomato. The accountancy here is very, very good. The auditors will be very happy indeed. So, if we sell that, 41 grand. 41 grand for all those tomatoes there. Yes, let's do that. They're not going to go into the juice factory because the juice factory is still working through its massive backlog of apples. So, yep, yeah, let's do that for now. So, that's quite a nice bit of money that we've just thrown into the mix. That's very welcome. And it's getting to the point soon where we are going to want to look at... Oh, those peppers are going to come up. That's very good. Um, We're going to want to have a look at maybe uh, upgrading... A, upgrading our farmhouse, and B, selling some honey. Because we can always... I think if we get over a million, how much is this going to be to upgrade this thing 720 grand if we get over 1 million monies i think we upgrade that 720 grand if it was a million we've then got ourselves still 280,000 left to play with which is plenty plenty of money and it will rise back up because we've got kind of a bit of money kind of in lieu if you like it's sort of locked away because we've got all the apple juice all the cherry juice the frozen things oh actually actually frozen strawberries we may have many of those now we may have frozen strawberries. Let's have a look. Frozen, 7,000 kilos of frozen cherries, which have absolutely bombed in price. They were 6.2. Now they're 5.4. So that's fairly rubbish. Frozen strawberries. Oh, my goodness. Frozen strawberries are indeed very... Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. They make a lot of money. Right, we're going to make this money back on this building very soon indeed, I would have thought. Do you know what? Yeah, let's sell it. It might get higher. But I think we're still working on making more of those strawberries. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, look, it, oh, it might be tailing off. Yeah, sell, sell, sell. Sell those now. Splendid. Right, uh, let's just check other stuff. Let's just check juice again, see if that's done anything. No, and mm, possibly slightly picking up, but not really. Okay, yeah, so we've got a little while left. And then we want to do honey. An awful lot of things have become available. Oh, it's the strawberries again. <laughs> okay, right. Well, let's go through all these again. Let's get everybody back into work. Come on then. Now there's strawberries and peppers, everybody. Let's get harvesting. Now, there was a comment made. Somebody said, you should put in more wind turbines in order to pay the wages for your staff. And I think when this game came out, I think the money you got from wind turbines and wind energy was pretty substantial. But now, I think, I think following an update, I don't know which one it was. Yes, yes, lots of things harvested. I think they have very much nerfed the, uh, the power of wind. They have made it produce far less monies. So if we look, this is all four. So yes, I've clicked on wind turbine station one, but this number here is showing us how much money we have made this month from energy. So it's not that particular turbine. If we click on another turbine, it's the same. So those four turbines this month have produced 2,000 monies. And yeah, we're kind of at the end of the month. So you could say it might get to 2,250 or something by the end of the month, because we've got a day and a bit to go, whatever. In fact, how many days does November have? I haven't got the faintest idea. I don't know. Is it 30 days? I don't, I'm not really sure, but whatever. Let Yes, okay. So it's about 2,100. 2,100 for those four wind turbines. And how much is a wind turbine to build? I think they're quite expensive. Are they 60,000 or something? 48,000. Ah, of course, because they're a bit cheaper because of the stuff I've researched. So 48,000. 48,000 to build. And if I'm getting 2,000 from the four of them per month, that's, that's not the best returns, is it? So, um, yeah, we won't be building wind turbines unless they get some sort of... Either there's a training thing which massively increases the money we get from them or they get sort of uh, re-nerfed. Unnerfed? 
What's what's the phrase when something isn't nerfed? When it was nerfed and then it's actually restored back to how it was. Improved? I don't know. When they're made better in a future update, if they're made better, we might put some more in. But yeah, right now, I think that's going to be it for our sort of wind turbine provision. Our eco bit of farm is just here. And that will remain that way because they, they just don't produce enough profit. They just don't produce enough profit anymore. They might have done once upon a time, but alas, no more. Okay, that's all looking good. This was all looking splendid. We've sold lots of things. That... Is now they're gonna have so many strawberries in there. Seven hundred and seventy something. Ah, have they actually finally finally gone through all the cherries? Aha, right. Okay, well, let's not bother doing that then. Let's take cherries off, and then you can do all of your time on strawberries. Now I don't know if that increases the speed or whatever. And our pig training thing is done, which is very exciting. Okay, the next thing we want to research or train or whatever the terminology is, is this one. Third level of the building for sheep and goats. Another 60 days, 60 grand. Splendid. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can offset the damage of that 60 grand. Because that's brought us down a bit and I kind of was hoping to get over a million <laughs> so I could upgrade this house because that's going to be exciting. Let's see what we've got. Pears? Nope. Still a little bit rubbish. Still not really selling very much. Cherry juice? No. Nope. Apple juice? Absolutely bombed. Buckwheat honey is okay, but it's been better. Right, coals of honey seems good. Coals of honey is going up in price. I'm willing to sell that now. Oh, look. <laughs> look. Oh, the bees. The bees are beautiful. Oh, that's so much money. <laughs> that That's only from one of the three honey types as well. And that's the one with the least. That's the one with the least amount of honey that we've got. It, that is, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, do you know what? Sell it. It might go up in price, but whatever. Uh, Multi-flower is not really very high, is it? 155 grand. Okay, we'll keep a hold of that, I think, for a little while. We've got so much apple juice. So much apple juice. We might possibly need to build another storage thing, because we are going to run out of storage at some point. Uh, frozen strawberries, they're still very, very, very good. Let's just sell those right now. Splendid profit, profit coming in. We're making lots of monies. Um, yeah, okay. Why don't we build another warehouse thing somewhere? What I might do is, I was thinking about this earlier. The only thing is that path might be a problem. Is that a double path just there? No, that's a single path. How wide is one of these buildings? One of those is sort of... Uh, oh, it's hard to do with that tree there. Uh, one, two, three and a bit. Three and a bit of those. One, two, three and a bit. No, I thought I might be able to get rid of that orchard. Because that orchard is now fairly redundant. A tiny little apple orchard is a bit pointless. We've got one over here that produces a gazillion apples. This one here seems a little bit pointless. But do you know what? We'll keep it anyway. Just for old time's sake. We shall keep it like that. Um, yeah, I did think we could get rid of that orchard and put that there. Put another storage house thing there. But I don't think we'll have the... Um, I don't think we'll have the, the space to do so. So, let's put another one of these just here. Because that would make sense. Yes, I think our storage is probably being pushed a little bit. Yeah, indeed, we are being pushed for storage. So, yep, yeah, another storage thing is no no issue. A warehouse. Um, they're fairly cheap. Fairly cheap. 8400 off the bat and 39 per month. They can hold most of the stuff we need. Do we want that, though? Seeds and plants, fruits and veg, meat, dairy. How full? How full is that? Uh, 172 out of 275. So it's got another 100,000 units left in it. And a lot of that stuff looks like meat that we're also going to get rid of at some point because they will also sell the meat. Yeah, I don't think we need another one of those just yet. I don't think we need another one, another one of those right now. We probably will do when we start building stuff down here. But I think right now, I think that's fine. So yeah, let's just put another of these little ones down here. So this tree is going to go. I'm very sorry, tree. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe the tree doesn't have to be destroyed. Let's put that one facing the road oh no let's put it let's keep it consistent let's put it like the other one is uh so there yeah there there we go plop and another little bit of extra storage which is always very welcome lovely one thing i've never done and i possibly should do it right now can we pin that yes we can let's move that up into the corner i've never checked the prices of the of the cheeses other than the yellow cow cheese and the sheep cheese, because they were the most profitable when we started. But that might have all changed by now. I don't know. So I might be missing out here. So if I go to there and search for cheese, filter it on cheese. So cow cheese is, okay, yeah, worth 16.8. Yellow cow cheese, okay, that's still worth a lot. That's fine. Goat cheese, uh, which we're not making any of, is, what's that, sort of 19-ish? 
and sheep cheese okay we are still making the best things yep so the sheep cheese still goes for an awful lot which is tremendous and uh, yes then we've got the yellow cow cheese which is appropriate enough designated by this yellow lime which is good the other two still do make quite a bit of monies but not as much as the other two okay that's fine let's just get rid of those say like that uh butter it, does that make a lot yeah it's a bit it, that fluctuates a little bit more than the other ones but um no, it doesn't make as much as the other two cheeses. Okay, well, there we go. It was worth checking out, I think. It was worth having a little look just to see if we are still working on the best things in the uh, milk. The milk processing plant, which essentially is the cheese the cheese factory, because we don't make butter. It's just cheese. So in the cheese factory, but no, we are making the most profitable things. Aha, and it is tomato season once again. So here we go. Let's start the harvesting of all of these. So, yep, whoever you want to go and work on that. This one next door is done as well. And I imagine over the what the coming days, these will start pinging into life. So yeah, one day, and there you go. As I clicked on it, it worked. So yeah, you guys go and harvest that one. Then I imagine it might be this one in a line. Yeah, one day left for that one. Yeah, so let's get all the tomatoes out. And again, I still think oh, I could not find Theo Johnston. Okay, fine. Well, let's put it on normal speed so I don't miss out on anything. Um, uh, yes, where are you? Workers, staff list. Theo Johnson. These little quest things are amazing. Theo, whereabouts are you? Come on, come on, come on. Can you c come to reception and please pick up your packages, please? You shouldn't be getting things delivered to you while you're out and about. Where is he? He's going to be right at the bottom of the list. Or have I just gone, have I gone past him? I've probably gone past him, haven't I? Oh, no, there he is. He's uh, currently, he's doing absolutely nothing. So there you go. I don't know why. Can you not just actually come and pick it up himself? Okay, fine. Deliver the package. Give me my untold riches, please. The vast quantities of cash we're going to give us. Actually, that's not too bad for that, for clicking a button. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, you lot. And you, and it's getting into winter. You can tell it's getting a bit paler. The colour palette is going pale. So, yep, yeah, winter is coming. We're a little note soon. Bits of snow, little sort of snow uh, flurries are coming down, which is lovely. So, yeah, we'll get a notification soon saying winter has come. Uh, the, the fields go quiet or whatever it says. I can't remember what it says. Let's just speed time on a little tiny bit. Uh, or do we not get that notification now? Or did I just skip past a notification going, yeah, 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 whatever, that's fine. Yes, all right, all those fields are ready for harvest. Jolly good. Yeah, I, I suspect winter may have arrived, which is fine. But look, at I like this. I like summoning in all the people. It's very good. Why is that one so far behind the others? I think they were all done at more or less the same time, weren't they? They were all done at more or less the same time. Okay, whatever, that's fine. So two days left, one day left. It's still going. Yeah, okay, fine. And, oh, look, <laughs> it's... It is, hang on a minute, if we wait, if we wait one little day, if we wait a day, come on day, hurry up, there we go. It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day on the lovely people's farm. And have I given anyone the day off? Have I, heckers like everyone here? Come on, work minions, work harder. Retrieve tomatoes for me in the snow. That's it. I'm going to make you work in the snow, even though these greenhouses are fine. I mean, it might be quite nice going in the greenhouse, in the snow. It might be quite nice in there. Might have a little bit of heat in there. Ah, there we go, fine. And, uh, yeah, do the last one. Oh, there's only one person left to do that one. Is there? Is there really? Why is that? It says two up there. Could have fooled me. Two people. Where's the third? Okay, right. They're all very slowly going back, are they? Okay, maybe that's what I was doing. I was too eager. Yeah, okay, right. You go and do that. Splendid. So, yeah, Christmas Day and I'm making everyone work. I'm making these people go over here. The beekeepers don't get a day off. Even though the bees aren't doing anything. I don't know what the point of the beekeepers is in the winter. I don't really know. I assume they still have to take care of the bees. I assume they still have to look after them in their hives. I'm guessing. I mean, there's probably not a lot to do. But you have to make sure the bees are okay and they've not died. So, okay, lots of tomatoes being harvested. But, um... Yeah, I think it, it it's looking it's looking okay. I mean, it's it's still Christmas Day. It's still Christmas Day. Everyone is still here. I'm on the lookout for Father Christmas. I didn't see him. Oh, no, he would have been by now, wouldn't he? He would have been. I wonder what he bought, everybody. He bought us strawberries. That's what he bought. We'll get those strawberries once all the, uh, all the uh, tomato plants, uh, well, tomatoes, sorry, are harvested from the greenhouses. That's interesting. 1,270 tomatoes rather than the 2,500 odd, whatever it was. So I wonder if it does actually take into account winter. So because it's winter, obviously less sunshine, they're less likely to grow more tomatoes in there. I'd never really noticed that before. Yeah, we certainly have a lot less tomatoes. There are three left to possibly finish off. These two look like they're pretty much done. But no, that did 2,574. I wonder why one of them is doing less. Presumably one of them had a worse harvest. 
I mean, it's a bit curious they grow exactly the same amount of tomatoes, if I'm completely honest. But okay, that's fine. I'm not that bothered. We were going to sell these on anyway. We've got over a million, which is very exciting. So, um, yeah, let's wait for these to be done. In fact, no, let's not wait for those to be done, because now we can get the strawberries out again. So let's do that. So, yep, yeah, you three over there. Some tomatoes have been harvested. Splendid news. You autofill. Lovely. And you autofill. And lovely as well. Right, okay. Whilst we're here, whilst they're doing all that stuff... Let's have a look. So we'll keep an eye on that. When those tomatoes are harvested, we shall sell all of the tomatoes. They're not going to go off anytime soon. Are they 7th of January? Oh, it's pushing it a little bit. It's pushing it a little bit. Also, the price is coming down. Sell those now. Sell them. Whatever we've got, we'll sell now. And then we'll sell the rest when they sort of get them out of this greenhouse and put them back in. But yeah, the price of tomatoes is coming down. So we want to sell those as soon as we can. Right. Pears is rubbish. Apples is rubbish. Oh, dear me. Cherry juice is minimal. Apple juice is tanking. Buckwheat honey is sort of okay. Multiflower honey has gone back up. Okay, right. I think we sell the multiflower honey, but for some reason I can't sell it. I don't entirely know why. Okay, yes, you've harvested some strawberries. That's good. Why can't I go and sell my multiflower honey? Why does he keep doing that? He did that last time as well on one of the sell screens, didn't it? Didn't let me sell the thing. Let me sell my multiflower honey. It's going to make me a lot of monies. $117,862. It might go up a bit more, but then again, it might completely crash. I'm not going to risk it. 117 grand is, well, 918 grand is fine by me. Sell, sell, sell. Monies. Yes. Look at all the cash. Look at the cash monies. And, um, yeah, we'll sell those as well for another two and a half grand. That's not to be sniffed at. Um, okay. What about other stuff? I don't think that's, that's it, isn't it? I think that's all we've got. Oh, no, the frozen stuff. Let's have a check of the cherries. Nope, not doing very well. And frozen strawberries have come back down. They have plummeted in price. We still get quite a lot for them, but not as much as we once were a little while ago. However, we have got quite a long time to sell those. That's October. So we've got to July and October to sell some of the frozen stuff. So, uh, yeah, okay, we'll keep our hands on it still. We've got until March to sell the cherry juice. March. Okay, that's not good. And then apple juice, we have 400 units of. Is that all? No. We must have more apple juice than that. We've been churning out apple juice for ages. Uh, no. Is that... Hang on. Hang on. That can't be right. That can't be right. We must have more apple juice than that. That's all we make. Uh, has something gone wrong? Has something gone a bit strange? No. Apple juice is there. We're not auto-selling it, are we? Apparently not. In the auto-trade... Well, in the trade screen where you can set your auto-trading, it says we've got 14,600 units of it. Which does not seem to reflect it in the cell screen just here. Let's type juice, see if that filters it down any. Oh, there we go. There was another one. Okay, yes, yeah, so they split it up. So this is where it gets put into different warehouses, I suppose. So some of it's going to go off in June. Some of it's going to go off in July. The cherry juice, I need that to come up in price a little bit. Come on. It's absolutely tanked. I could have sold it ages ago. I could have sold it back in whatever, October or something, rather than holding on to it. But no, it's gone a bit, little bit wrong. It's now 8.55. The amount we're getting is so low. We could have got something like, you know, 85 or 90 for that at some point. So, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. We want that to come back up. But we'll leave it as late as we can to sell it because it might pick back up. You never know. So the only problem, really, with winter is that there's not much to do, really, in winter in this game. You just sort of sit and wait for it to pass by. There's greenhouses to take care of, which is fine. And, you know, I'm doing that. We've got the ones down here and the ones up there. But other than that, everything else sort of ticks over. I'm, yes, keep an eye on the things we want to sell which is good, but you can't do work on the fields, nothing's really happening, nothing's going on, everything else is kind of automated, so the slaughterhouse is going, yeah, okay, fine, cheese factory's going, everything kind of just ticks over, everything else just sort of runs itself now, which, you know, is a good thing, I suppose, and again, I'm so, so happy that I don't have to keep calling inseminators for every single type of animal, particularly if we start building up our big animal sheds up here, which we might do in 18 days' time, possibly, but, um, yeah, once we, you know, that, that message not appearing is lovely because that message was so annoying so it's obviously taken that away it's taken away the responsibility of clicking call inseminator so there's less to do over winter but um i mean it looks pretty it looks lovely i like the fact that it changes over winter they didn't have to i suppose they could have just made you know the sky go a bit rubbish looking but it changes everything look all the backgrounds change it looks really nice do they always look like that actually i'm not entirely sure i'm not entirely sure i now suspect that the backgrounds always might look like they've got snow on i don't actually know I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I don't know about that, but whatever. It still looks nice. It looks, you know, all tranquil and peaceful and snowy and pretty and lovely, and I like that. But there's just not a lot for us to do. 
Okay, some time has passed, nothing much has happened, some strawberries are now ready to be harvested, so let's get that done. And um, yeah, the prices of things still are not great, if I'm completely honest, which is a big shame, but never mind. So yeah, I checked on the um, juices and the frozen stuff. The cherries, actually, the frozen cherries, I think, I think, was it the frozen cherries? Hang on, hang on, let's just uh, go to sell and search for cherry. Which one just started to creep up? Was it cherry juice? Ah, no, it was cherry juice, and it's now coming straight back down again. Yay! Uh, frozen cherries. Okay, they've also crept up a little bit at the end there. But yeah, everything appear, everything I want to sell appears to have had a catastrophic financial tumble. So yeah, they were quite good. Look at that, cherry juice was 9.4, and I wonder if I held on selling it when it was 9.4, thinking, ah, it'll go back up to 10 again, and now it's at 8.29, which again is more than it was down here, which is 8.1, but it's still not enough, is it? It's not as much as it could be. So, um, okay, yeah, let's leave that. Now, have they got enough stuff to work on in here? Because I imagine they're going to have strawberries. Yeah, now they're running out of strawberries at the minute. They're running out of strawberries. But fortunately, we are harvesting some. So hopefully, they will then be able to go back in and top those up, which is good news. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're going to run out of those in there, I imagine, in the foreseeable future. In fact, in not very long at all. Let's just wait and see it happen. There we go. Down to hardly anything. And I think, is that the little van delivering stuff in? Yes, there we go. So there you go. It nearly got to zero. So that seems to be a fairly good... A fairly, uh, fairly good system there. They've only just, you know, just depleted and they put some back in. That's good. Have you still got apples to work on? Uh, all the training's finished. Pretty good. The best farmer in the air and breed two geese. Yeah, don't think so. It's not really worth that much, is it? And we've done the goat training. Okay, that's very exciting. Right. Clear all those things out of the way. Splendid news. And, um, okay, training. What should we do for our training? What should we get next? It might be worth getting this. It's 3,000 and it takes 10 days. So it's cheap, it doesn't take long, slows the wear of machines by 15%. That's probably worth doing right now. Nothing much else going on over the winter. However, this might be a good time to just go and check our machines. That is not where machines go. That's some apples. I think the apples are fine. Um, okay, yeah, those orchard tractors are going to be fine. I'm not going to be allowed to repair those, am I? Nope. So I don't need to do those. I think everything should be pretty much okay. Yeah, everything looks okay. Nope, nothing is particularly in need of any maintenance. Nope, that again is the apples. So yeah, it was only the two tractors really. But uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to repair them or renovate them or whatever. Okay, fine, never mind. Right, so that training is complete. We slowed the wear of machines by 15%. Shall we up it to 20% or shall we just do another one of these? Now all of these are going to finish the training. Uh, finish that particular block of training. There's no more after that. So when we pick one of these, it'll disappear out the list. I quite like getting things out of the list. Because I'm a bit of a tidiness nerd with regard to that. So it'd be lovely if this list just had nothing in. And it was all just lovely. Now things we are going to leave to the end. We might not even ever bother researching. Faster reproduction rabbits. Don't care. Never going to have rabbits. I do want this though. Increases the rate of production by 20%. I think that is probably well worth having. It's either that or the storage capacity. Because I think because we're still filling up with so much stuff. We've still got so many things. I mean where's that new one that we built? That's, oh no, actually no, do you know what? That's fine. The new one we built has only got 185 out of 27,500 units of something in it. Okay, no, we don't need that then. So, with that in mind, let's go through and get ourselves the production one. Where is it? Somewhere around here. It was there. 20 grand, so it's a tad more expensive than I would like. 90 days, so it takes quite a long time. But, there we go. That will help no end. So it will help the, um, now does honey count as production? Or is that its own separate thing? I think it's just in terms of factories. So, it will help with meat, it will help with cheese, it will help with juice, and it will help with frozen stuff. So that, in the long run, is going to be quite a good thing to get our hands on. Okay, the tomatoes have once again been harvested. The juice factory is still absolutely frantically busy working its way through apples. I think that might keep it going until we have to sell the apples, by the look of it. Because the apples go off in, what, March or something, I think, now? I can't remember. Let's have a quick look. Or was it later? Was it May, possibly? Uh, right, those tomatoes we can sell, possibly, for 28 grand. Yeah, do that, whatever. And the apples go off, yeah, March. So it's not long until those apples go off. Oh, we possibly should have kept those tomatoes. Never mind, they'll, they'll roll round again. They'll roll round again, I'm sure, by sort of a week and a bit's time. They'll be nearly ready, won't they, possibly? Oh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't have sold those tomatoes. Never mind, it's done now. We sold them. I hope everyone else can enjoy the lovely tomatoes that we just sold them. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, an auto sell also just kicked in, which is splendid. So I want to get, I want to get to spring. I think that's going to be the goal at the end of this. I want to get to spring, and then I think we'll call it a day. But yeah, there's nothing much going on in winter. It's not particularly exciting in winter. So let's see what we can sell. Frozen strawberries, still not going for very much. Ah, now apple juice has picked up a little bit. 
That's interesting. Shall we sell some of our apple juice? And cherry juice, we're going to have to sell very soon. Now, cherry juice has gone back up. Oh, look. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Okay, right. The prices are going back up for some of these things now. Okay, so that's good. Now, we do have a little, a little concern in that, yes, yeah, some of the stuff is going to go off in March. So some of those things are going to go off in March. I need to keep an eye on that. Right, let's harvest all these things. Right, the beginning of March has arrived and I have paused time in order to make sure that I don't miss something so I don't, you know, speed time on and let all the apples expire so I don't sell them so I don't make profit off them. So let's have a look. Apples, 5th of the 3rd. Pears, 15th of the 3rd. Now, pear prices are going up. Do I sell all those pears right now or do I wait to see if they go a tiny bit higher? I might wait, you know. So apples, yeah. Cherry juice have got a little while, but that's gone back up a bit. Apple juice is kind of up a bit, which is quite encouraging. Buckwheat honey is sort of hovering around the middle price. It'd be nice if it went above 29. That'd be quite lovely. But yeah, it's only reached 29.159 actually in sort of its maximum price recently. So I'm asking for it to go to 20. I might be a little bit much. Frozen cherries have gone right back up, which is lovely. And frozen strawberries, I think, have pretty much come back down again. Okay. That's fine. We'll keep the strawberries. 8th the 11th, 2022. They were quite good at the sort of end of summertime, weren't they? Summer sort of uh, autumn slash fall. They were quite profitable. Now, everything else seems to be going pretty well right now. So what's going to go off first? These apples. They're the um, the 3rd. No, the 5th of, uh, 5th of March. The 5th of March. Anything else going off before then? No. Okay. So let's speed time on then until it's the 4th. So currently it's the 2nd of the 3rd. We need to wait till it's the 4th of the 3rd and see what we can get for apples. Now, apple prices have gone up quite a lot. Now, are they going to come back down on the next day? 3rd of the 3rd. Okay, I'm going to wait till the 4th of the 3rd and then I'm going to sell, sell, sell. It'd be nice if they jotted back up a tiny bit. Come on, just give it a jump. Give it a little jolt back up. Come on, come on, 3rd of the 3rd. Is it going to go to the 4th? Thank you very much. Oh, no, they've come back down a bit. I should have sold them just there. Never mind. Right, 4th, pause. Right, we've got to say goodbye to the apples then. Oh no, they've crept back up a little bit again. <laughs> Yay! So yeah, apples have got to go. Goodbye, apples. Farewell. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it, because they go off. They go off on the 5th or 3rd. I don't want to lose all them. And that's an easy 89 grand right there. So let's get rid of apples. Now what's next? Pears are the 15th. Cherries are the 16th. Okay, but stuff like this, apple juice is kind of on a high at the minute. 137 grand. Do you know what? Yeah, why not? Do it. Just sell the apple juice. And the cherry juice is going back up again. Do you know what? Yep, let's sell that. Another 65 grand. Lovely. Thank you very much, Juice Factory. Now, the frozen cherries. 7,000 kilograms of them, which seems like an awful lot. They go off, obviously, far later in the year. But that price is pretty good. Now, it's come back down a bit, unfortunately. 4.68 was at 4.822. If I sold all them now, that's a cool 32,758 monies. Shall we just get rid of them? Just get rid of the frozen cherries, 18th to the 7th. That's only another four months. So yeah, I think we get rid of the frozen cherries right now. Bosh. Done. So we're making money. One, one and three quarters of a million monies. Hurrah. And uh, yeah, the buckwheat honey is slowly creeping back up. 151 for that. So yes, it's going to be a case of we've got pears. So pears currently, oh, the price is so high. The price is so high. Do I, do I wait it out? 210 they're on now. 210. Let's wait. I'm going to wait it out and see what they come up to. So I think they'll go up a little bit more. And as soon as it looks like they're starting falling. Yep, strawberries, thank you. Yeah, go and freeze them, please. That's fine. As soon as that comes back down, we shall sell it. But right now, if we were to sell that, we'd make 207 grand. Which is silly. I mean, before, we made 400 and something. Do you know what? 205 grand sell. Sell, sell, sell the pairs. Sell the pairs. Just get rid of the pairs. It's fine. We are, we've, we've gone over 2 million. <laughs> we've gone over 2 million. Hooray! <laughs> Okay, well, that's pretty good then. Uh, I don't need to sell frozen strawberries, I don't think. That's absolutely fine. Oh, we've gone over 2 million. I'm very, very happy. That's very good. Do you know what? Let's sell that for 33, because why not? Everything is important. It all adds up in the end of, at the end of the day, doesn't it? Um, but, Queen Honey, do we just get rid of that for 151 grand as well? Do you know, yeah, let's start with a clean slate. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Frozen strawberries will keep around for a bit. So I think we'll make more money off them at, toward the sort of the middle, toward the end of the year. And now... With that done, I'm going to wait for spring. We're going to upgrade this building just here. Because I said we'd upgrade it when we've got 1 million. We've got 2.3 million, which is just ridiculous. So, um, yeah, wait for spring. We'll upgrade that building, and then I think we'll call it a day. But there is obviously a plan for spring when spring springs. Spring sprungs? No, spring springs. When it's spring. Oh, yes, of course. A message came up saying you failed your contract, which was to plant the buckwheat. But, yeah, of course, I can't plant the buckwheat. 
because it's winter. And I kind of forgot that spring starts on the 21st of March. So yeah, I could never have completed that contract, I don't think, because I think I got it when it was either the end, possibly the end of, of autumn slash fall, or indeed the start of winter. And obviously it's then rolled on all winter. So I could never, ever have won that contract little sort of deal thing with the neighbour. So um, there we go. At least I don't pay out, though. I don't pay out to my neighbour, at least. Whereas, you know, because I, I, I haven't done it, but at least I'm not paying out money to my neighbour. So that's good. At least I can just continue fleecing my neighbour when you make stupid bets. And I think spring is back. But we normally used to get a little sort of message popping up saying, yeah, it's winter, yeah, it's spring or whatever. But the spring one said, you know, it's spring, the fields are ready for harvesting. But I haven't had that yet. I thought it was on the 21st. Oh, there you go. 22nd. It's a day late. Spring is spring is a day late this year. Everything comes back to life. Time to resume work on the field. Right, okay. So now the big thing we're going to do is upgrade this. So building upgrade. 720 grand to the farm owner's large house. I guess that's the biggest house we can have. So, okay. Yep. 720 grand on that. I mean, they knock the house down to rebuild it again. Why can't they just build an extension? I don't know. Right. Let's... Uh, oh, actually. Do you know what there is? There's some stuff to harvest. So while they do that... Let's grab... What was there to harvest? There's something to harvest somewhere or other. Uh, nope. Nope, there's nothing to harvest. I've clearly gone mad. Nope, nothing around. Right, we need to make sure that everything is still okay. Everything is fine for soil moisture over there for that field and that field and that one. Okay, so when that's done... In fact, let's set the person going on this now. Let's just set someone going on that right now because we might as well get that done. And I want to get this house done. Oh, that's what's ready for harvest. It's the tomatoes again. However, we don't want to sell them now. Because now... Oh, they're still working through that. That's fine. So let's switch tomatoes back on. Let's get you doing 50-50 on the tomatoes. Oh yeah, no cherry juice. Don't make cherry juice on it anymore. So 50-50 for apples and tomatoes. Or 50-49. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's just notch that down like that. There we go. I don't know where the other 1%'s gone. I'm not bothered. That's their cigarette breaks or something. And then let's get tomatoes out. Because they've got... The juice factory will have nothing to do very shortly. Right, auto fill that, auto fill that, splendid. And then, got to look at this just here and wait for this to be built. So yeah, that might take a little while. They've not even put the stuff in there yet, the building material. So yeah, let's wait for that to get constructed and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, it's coming up to being completed. It looks very, very good. It looks very imposing. Oh, look at that. Essentially, all they've done is they've made the house bigger and tried to cram the same gardens into a smaller space as my house gets bigger. But look, I've got a bit around the... Su Ooh, that zoom was slightly more sudden. I've got a chimney. That's good. I don't know what that is then. Are they windows? Are these just a weird panel things? Flower boxes. And see, if I really had flowers on the side of my house, they'd probably die. Those the sh balls, shrub thing, the bulbs, bush things around. What else is there? Pots. Pots of plants. Another weird thing here. I don't know what the blue kind of patterning thing is. Yeah, that looks very, very nice. No back door. In fact, there's only one door into, into the whole house. There's only one door. Well, it's double doors. Okay, that's fine. So, I don't think, then, we can upgrade that anymore. No, so that is the top. That is the maximum farm owner's building we can have. So, if we turn that off to get a proper look at it. There we go. That looks good, doesn't it? I like that. Okay, there we go. That's sorted, then. So, we've got one of those done. That's another thing to tick off the list. So, we've completed that. Let's just get some tomatoes out of that field. And now, the next thing... Yes, accept that, please. Uh, the next thing we need to do, then, is get this sorted. Let's pause it for now, because that's going to be our next big job. Sort out the raspberries in that field. And then, we're going to go over here, and we're going to go and start our new animals operation over here with the big stuff, with the large pig size, the large sheds, and the large cow sheds, because we've got one, one and a three-quarter million monies. So I think we can afford maybe more than a few of these. So yeah, we can afford a few large cow sheds, maybe a few large sheds with one with sheep, one with goats, a couple of pigsties, that kind of thing. That should be very exciting. Do you know what? I'm not going to go for large chicken coop because it's annoying and I've got to do some more training anyway. So I won't bother with those. But yeah, the rest of this stuff, we shall certainly build over here. We shall expand even more. There's more stuff there. Strawberries to harvest. It's very, very busy and it's going very, very well. But yeah, raspberries next time as well should be interesting because I can give this place something else to do other than strawberries as it sounds right now. Oh! And they haven't even got any strawberries right now. They're not doing anything. Why not? Have we not got any strawberries? Oh, no, they're waiting to be harvested. Okay, that's fine. We should do that next time. Of course, that was those things there. And that as well, I would have thought. No? Okay, and that thing has gone a bit strange as well. The tab thing has gone a bit weird. Okay, never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine when we reload the game. But that is it for now. So hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. And also, please do subscribe to keep up to date with what we do on our farm and how we get on. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time.
Right, everyone, give me your money. Give me all the monies. The music is very sinister. I'm not sure I particularly like the music. Fire the catapult. Oh, what a shot, catapult man. Right, okay, they're knocking the wall down. They're not, the wall is coming down. Oh God, some of them are huge. Oh God, people are dying. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a watermelon. 